guys, welcome back to SourceFed Nerd. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and today we're going to talk all about apps, all type of apps that you don't even know about, probably. I mean, you might know about them, but they're still pretty cool. And we've even got a, a one for sex thrown in there. Well, it's not maybe really for sex, but we'll see. First up, Tiny Thief. This is the vintage point and click from the same people who brought you Angry Birds. It's super stylized and cartoonish, where you are a tiny thief in a medieval world. There's super cute humor without the sweet overkill and puzzles for days. It's $2.99 on Android or iOS. Now, for the sports fans, there's Yahoo Fantasy Sports Football for Android. You can now participate in a live draft from your phone, wherever you are, that's huge. As well as, of course, pick players, set their queue, execute a trade, etc. It's free on both iOS and Android. Now for an app that almost makes me wish I still had an iPhone, almost. Limbo is an eerie black and white scale game where you are a nameless boy searching for his lost sister. Now, you better be on your best puzzle game here because there is no room for error in Limbo. It's $4.99 on iOS. Back to the Android camp, there's Locket, making money with your phone. Okay, so Locket pays you every time you unlock your screen, and the ads aren't obnoxious. They're actually kind of pretty. It's only one cent per unlock, but hey, I use my phone a lot, so I can make some money here for nothing but using my phone. It's Android only for the moment, and it pays you, like real life money. So with all that real life money that you earn, you can grab yourself a Chromecast. If you missed the big Chromecast reveal from Google, you can click here to see the video on it. The Chromecast app works with your home Wi-Fi network and that cute little Chromecast USB to wirelessly stream from your mobile device to your TV. And boy, is it badass. Now, the Chromecast app is free on both iOS and Android, although it is $35 for the actual device. Next up, Bounty Arms. With damn near console-like graphics, this 3D side-scroller kicks ass. You can play as Drake Mass, a galactic marine with a badass shotgun, Flux Helix, a laser-eyed flying robot, and Goober, some type of huge lizard guy with a rocket launcher, against epic bosses in 10 different levels. It's a testosterone fest of blowing stuff up with sweet, sweet graphics. $4.99 on iOS and Android. Simadonna, Trisha. Simadonna. With thunder space. Now, if you're into the soothing sounds of nature or just crazy breakthroughs in sound recording and playback, you will be relaxing to Thunderspace, a collab of the creator of the weather app Haze and an Emmy Award winning acoustic ecologist. The way the sound is recorded, it feels like you're actually there. Really relaxing. And 99 cents on iOS. Next up, we have Fodder Castle Defense. This tower defense game from Euclidean Studios and Mobius Industries lets you team up with friends, build your village, battle it out, multiplayer battle, or single player quest, your choice. If you aren't used to this type of gaming, be patient at first. It's a little bit complex, but totally worth it in my opinion. It's free on both Android and iOS. Next, we've got A Ride Into the Mountains. This is a simple game and it has an awesome look. Your name is Zoo and you're off to find a mysterious relic. Tilt controls and pull back and snap arrows make for a super poetic game. This is also 99 cents on both iOS and Android. And now for the Windows 8 users out there, Halo Spartan Assault. It's a single player top-down shooter where you get to explore the origins of the Spartan Ops program and battle the Covenant. No trial version on this app, so decide to take the plunge or not ahead of time. It's $6.99 on Windows 8, but pretty cool. And now for something completely different, Tinder. If you are feeling hot and spicy and you want someone hot and potentially spicy to hang out with, download Tinder. It shows you people in your geographical area using Facebook pictures and you simply like them or not. Now, if you like somebody who likes you back, you can get in touch via this app. So it's kind of like Grindr, but for hetero couples. Use at your own risk. It's free on both iOS and Android. So that's app about all we have for now. I can't even get through this sentence without laughing at myself. Awesome. Let us know what app is your fave this week in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can click this annotation or go to sourcefed.com, see all of our newsy bloggy type stuff. My name's Trisha Hirschberger and uh, I don't, I don't use Tinder at all. Not ever. Not even a little bit, but if my picture does happen to come up on there and you click that you don't like it, I'm going to be mad. Just saying.